y'all. That's me, Goddess Chi, Chi Chi. Go, go, Goddess Chi. Whatever you know me by on the website, whatever. Um, I just want to say I feel really good right now. Um, I had a long day at work. I woke up tired, super duper tired. But I went to work, gave a job. And it missed me doing my job. I'm looking for other jobs to help other people get along with myself. And at the last minute, I had to get some girls like that to book them for a gig. And I'm really happy because that's what I'm trying to do. Continue to do that and help um, models in the area, go-go dancers in the area that's looking for gigs. We're trying to get their foot out there like... I'm not saying I'm some top-notch model go-go dancer in the area, but I will say I'm well experienced. So I know a little bit, I know enough to help the newcomers. So, I'm just glad that I was able to help them book a gig. I'm always happy that I'm able to help the next person do something that will further them or help them to to progress or whatever it is that they're trying to do but I will say one thing some of you people out there don't don't know how to conduct business and I'm not saying I'm a one in because no I didn't go to school to learn how to do business but I dealt with a, a lot of people in my area as far as business wise and I've learned I've made mistakes when it comes to doing business some people really don't know how to conduct business like I don't like when you say one thing over the phone or through the email or through text message and then when I finally meet with you you're saying something totally different like you want to go about it another route I set my standards I set what it is that I need from you I let you know what it is that I'm going to do but you also tell me the same thing over email, over text messaging, over phone. But once we get in person, it's like a totally different thing. I don't appreciate that, but I'm learning and I know for a fact that I'm going to do better. And what it is, what I'm trying to do, I know it will get better over time. And I will be able to get more girls, more um, upcoming models, upcoming dancers, more gigs. At least to help them get some experience under their belt. I want to be able to do that. And I, I'm hoping that I can. So after all of that, I was stressed the fuck out. I had a lot of pressure on me. I, You just don't know how stressful it is to try and contact so many girls within a few hours in hopes that they will respond ASAP and let you know if they're gonna do the gig or not, if they can make it or not. And you got a deadline to meet. So I'm glad I was able to accomplish that tonight. I, I feel accomplished because I accomplished something. So after all of that, I had to go and use my gift card that I got for Christmas at work. My secret Santa gave me gift card. I had to go and use it. I had to go to Red Lobster and I must say the salad was so good. It was raspberry vinaigrette with lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, croutons which I took off because I didn't like. And those biscuits from Red Lobster are so good. They were so good with that salad. I was sitting there chewing and swabbing like I was tearing that shit up like I was the only person at the bar cause shit I walked in there when it was like 9.40 something they were about to close I was like fuck this I'm hungry I need a drink so I told the bartender to make me a signature drink no rum cause I don't like rum so he ended up making something with vodka in it which made me very drowsy vodka fucking makes me drowsy It was good though. Shit made me drowsy. But once I got finished with it, I was like, I need no drink. This shit was good. So the next go around, he made tequila because I love tequila. I'm a fan of tequila. My favorite tequila is Jose Cuervo. 
also had the 901 uh, tequila by Justin Timberlake. It was pretty smooth, but not my forte. Patron gets me so fucked up. Like, I have, I'm a mood swinger anyway. I'm a Pisces, so if you know a Pisces, you know we a thousand people in one at every other minute, depending on the mood and shit. But, damn, I'm so scattered. I just forget the point that I was trying to make. What the hell I was talking about? Oh, yeah, he made me tequila. He put Jose Cuervo in there. Jose Cuervo is my favorite tequila. And he put some more shit in there. And when I say that shit is the bomb, it's the bomb. So. For those of you that live in the Memphis area and you decide to go to South Haven, the Red Lobster is South Haven, ask for the bartender named Devin. Tell him Chi Chi sent you and let him know you want the drink called Second Thought my drink well it's his signature drink that he made for me and i call it second thought because that was my second drink the drink of the night i didn't want it but then again i was like fuck it i should have had tequila the first time now i'm getting the second time so i call it a second thought it's really good if you like fruity drinks it's really good i'm a fruity drink kind of girl but yeah go ask for Devin. at he's a bartender at red lobster in south haven Tell him you want a second thought. Tell him that the drink was recommended by Chi Chi. And he got you. I don't even know why I'm making this video. I'm just, this is the product of drinking vodka and tequila late night like this after a long day. You know, I actually like the experience of going through working the main job then coming from the main job and working uh, the business that I'm trying to, what's the word, trying to ascend or progress in. So I'm really happy about that. It felt really good to do some business today and get paid for the business that I do because I like to get paid for the hard work that I do. Some of y'all might think it's not might not think it's hard work, but to me. A lot goes into the shit that I do when I'm looking for girls to, to book for gigs. I know it's not top-notch gigs, paying thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, but it's gigs that will help girls get their foot in the door. It's gigs that will help girls gain experience. Some of these gigs, girls do really get paid. 90% of the time, I'm trying to find gigs for, for girls, models, to get paid. Now, if you're new, you need the experience, so maybe not right off the back you're going to get a job that's paying, but I understand the factor of needing to get paid for a gig that you do, but you need the experience. But it felt really good today, doing business, having a business meeting, making shit happen, feeling accomplished, and somebody trusting in me, my opinion, my direction, listening to me, and taking my word for it so that felt really good and I'm happy about that and I I'm just ready to keep pushing this thing forward and can't wait to the future just trying to do better oh and this song that I have planned it's not really a song it's a beat made by brother Brother Fathom Nod. It's called Believer. When I say he's a great mixer, like his beats are wonderful. I love it. They're like, you know, the music that the kind of music that you hear in Starbucks, they're real, like, mellow, chill, cool music. Like, his beats are like that. They're like authentic. And I like him so. Check out Fathom9 on Facebook, YouTube, and he's on ReverbNation.com. So, Fathom9, that's uh, F-A-T-H-O-M-9. So, the album is from Brotherhood of Doom. So, make sure y'all check him out. Show him some love because Fathom9 is great. He has wonderful poetry. 
His lyrics are insane. His beats are crazy. I love it. I'm a fan of his. That's why I got this shit playing now. But yeah, I'm hold out. This is my baby. He out of town on business. It's all good because it's to better our lives. It's, he's doing this for our future. I believe and know in him, so I know that things are going to be better for us in the future. He's doing this for us, and we're going to progress, and you will see us in the future. Really, a lot of times I don't like speaking the future because the shit doesn't happen. I'd rather it just play out. I'd rather just keep, you know, thinking about it in my head and keeping the thoughts to myself. So I'm not really going to get into it. So I'm, all I'm saying is I can't wait for the future. Things to get better. Things to be great. Just vibe. Oh. Just vibe. Oh. Just vibe. Oh. I would freestyle, but I ain't like that. My shit be wild. But hey. I just vibe, I just vibe, going with the flow, smoking on the clothes, uh, I just vibe, okay let me quit, I'm not a rapper, no, but I do like the freestyle, I like to play around the freestyle. So yeah y'all, those of you watching this video, I appreciate you for watching it. I know it's probably boring. I ain't really talking about nothing, but it's something to me. For those of you that, that do take the time out and watch it, thank you. You know, find me on other social sites. I'm on Twitter at Society Sucks. That's S-O-C-I-E-T-Y-S-U-X. I'm on Model Mayhem. God is cheap. That's G-O-D-D-E-S-S-C-H- E E. See them on YouTube. Facebook. Check out my page at Go Go Goddess Chi because I got too many friends on my regular page. So like my page on Facebook, my Go Go Goddess uh, Chi page. It's my modeling, Go Go Dancing, Ring Card Girl page. Check all that out. I hope y'all can hear this while I'm dancing to this beating shit. If you can't, then oh well. I know I'm kind of talking loud because I want you to hear me. I want you to hear what a sister got to say. It's 12 minutes and 40 some seconds. So I'm going to stop this joint at 13 because 13 is my favorite number. And I will holla at you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.